G'day and welcome back. Today's quick review subject, the Tacom M46 pattern is an absolutely brilliant model. And before we begin, I'm trying a different format with my short reviews, more of a time-lapse montage. So I'll sort of be skipping through the build a bit more than usual. So let me know if it's preferred or not. All right, getting started with the kit, it's between 70 to 80 Australian dollars and comes with a nice selection of interesting Korean War paint schemes and decals along with two track types, offering up a solid variety out of the box, and in my opinion, the price point is well worth it for what you get. The instruction manual is nicely laid out with easy to follow steps and only one error that I picked up on, which was a part missing its number in the manual, but it was blatantly obvious what it was, being T64 of the Coppola. Some key things to point out are the pieces fitting crisply together with no issues along the way for me. The details are brilliant and the kit contains a low amount of flashing and extra tidy up that you need to worry about. Having done a few blitz kits, this is fairly comparable to the products of that line and it didn't take me all that long to clang together. And being such a nice fitting assembly, I actually built it all yesterday in just a single setting. So to say that I enjoyed it would be an understatement. I'm actually keen to do another one. What makes it such a good kit is out of the 100 odd tanks that I've done, this is the first kit that had the deck attached to the hull almost exact with no further touch-ups required, along with the turret bottom and the top halves, and I think Tacom's toolmakers and drawers have really outdone themselves here. There's no etch included, but the inclusion of a copper tow cable instead of cotton was enough to keep me satisfied and chuffed, and if I absolutely have to pick one negative thing to talk about, I'd say the fact that the covered mantlet option barrel is in two pieces, while the non-covered barrel is in a single piece. This could have been designed differently in my opinion, having the barrel cover separate like the mantlet cover itself and attachable to the single molded barrel. It's just a small thing, but it didn't really cause any issues. I should also point out, there's a limited variant of this kit that is fairly easy to find and it comes with a quarter ton Korean war jeep and it's only usually about $10 more than the base kit that I've got here from what I've seen. And it may be of interest to those that want to do a diorama because the jeep itself is actually quite interesting and fairly detailed. Now as for my pattern, I opted to not add the searchlight because of the colouring option that I'm going with. The one I've chosen doesn't show any images of the real tank ever having the searchlight attached, but it's the famous Tiger design painted on a few of the tanks from the Korean War. And being one of the three tanks that I'm doing from this era, all three will feature the interesting face markings, which is something I've been keen to give a try for a while now. As she sits, I've currently base coated it with Tamir's Olive Drab, just like the Chaffee I recently slapped up, and when the third tank for this group is done, Ryfield's Easy 8, I'll be moving on to painting all three the same way at the same time. Upcoming will be another 10 video Tiger, where every 10th video I upload will be a Tiger 1 kit, as they're my favourite tank, and I've got a massive pile of shame to get through. So feel free to keep an eye out if that's one of your interests. Cheers for watching and take it easy.